language. They can, they can inject horse manure into us and they have no liability. Those of you that are on here, you have no idea the level of gratitude that I have for you. You have no idea because of you and everyone else like you, our humanity will survive. And this is the reason that when people give me accolades, it's, it's not about me, guys. I don't care about any of those accolades. I care about my kids. And I care about your kids. And I care about all the future kids because we're talking about the future of the human race. And what they're doing is committing the greatest atrocity, the greatest crime against mankind that has ever been committed. And if we allow them to get away with it, it will be the end of recorded history as we know it. We are talking about a mass extinction level event here that that's potentially coming down the pipeline and it may have been the ice age before it may have been something else but this is going to be because of the stupidity of the human species so we have to rise up right now we have to do it it's not about our survival i don't care whether brian you live or i live i don't care about that if somebody said that you can end this right now and give your life i would do it in a flash and i bet you that the vast majority if not every one of these doctors on here would do the same thing so that the world can continue to move forward the way it's supposed to. We have to, we have to make this change. All right, Shalom, this is a hard one by Nyasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp. I want to say, Kyle Halayim, La Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Harakai Kodash, Mama, double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and their elders. Shalom to you, Akim, and Aguatim, and children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. <clears throat> there, you heard that guy. Um, uh, I think his name is Dr. Rashid. Uh, I think that's his name. Um, he's been coming out with a lot about the co the COVID um, uh, pandemic and also 5G, all right, Saying, showing proof and through other different doctors that the COVID-19 is a scam, all right? It's a scam pandemic to push fear on the people and to also bring uh, austerity measures and their new world order agenda to ultimately uh, vaccine people and RFID, uh, Mark of the Beast, uh, chip people, all right? <clears throat> uh, the name of the game is control. But he spoke about uh, a crime to humanity being done on behalf of, he said, uh, foolish people, no, it's wicked people, all right? It's not their foolishness that's that ultimately that's, um, destroying the earth, ultimately it'll be what? Their wickedness, right? All right, so I'm gonna get the scripture. Let's uh, scripture speak. This is Matthews 24 and 21 because the prophecies are speaking right now. All right, Habakkuk chapter two is definitely happening as far as Esau and America, all right? Enlarging their desires as hell, <clears throat> being not satisfied. All right, that's why they're consuming all the people and devouring them and oppressing them and putting austerity measures and policies in place and hoping to vaccine the people and shit like that and poison the people. All right. That's what he, that's what that guy is talking about, that doctor. But it says Matthews 24 and 21. For then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor shall be, nor ever shall be. All right. So that happened uh, 2,000 years ago, but it's also going to happen now. At that point in time, that was the worst that was ever. And now uh, it's, it's going to be um, close to or even worse than that, really, because of the uh, destruction and the level of wickedness that's on the earth. All right, verse 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. All right, and that's what that doctor was saying. You know, it basically saying it's a, it's a crime to humanity to where there's a victim. You can't have a crime without a victim. So they, they plan on making the people the victims and uh, depopulating the earth so they can control uh, the small masses of the people and turn them into damn cyborgs and damn demons and shit. All right. Their whole thing is to try to, their whole thing is to destroy what the Lord made. All right. So um, <clears throat> it says, except those days should be shortened. So the Lord shortened these days. That's why you wake up and next thing you know, it's nighttime. 
Go to sleep. It's daytime. Monday, next thing you know, it's Friday. Time is shooting by. Every day is something happening. Prophecy is moving by quick. All right? Because the Lord shortened these, shortened the time um, of our judgment for the elect's sake. Because if not, no flesh would be saved, man, from what they got coming. They got a mass genocide coming, a mass destruction that's coming. All right, he said, he said, an extinction level event. All right, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. This is Revelations 11 and 17. Saying, saying, we give thanks, O Lord, Yahweh Almighty, which art and was and art to come, because thou hast taken to thee thy great power and has reigned. All right, Yahweh Shai. And the nations, verse 18, and the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come. See, that's the times we're in. So, and, and that guy spoke of the of history and um, existence ending upon the earth, and that's not going to happen. All right, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, controls, is running this, uh, uh, this situation. All right, and the way he said it's going to go, that's the way it's going to go. All right, so it's, um, the earth is going to buy forever. Now it says, In the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and to them that, were thy that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. So the ones that's destroying the earth right now, they got a judgment coming. All right. So when the Lord brings his destruction, all right, the climax of the destruction in the midst of World War Three, dollar crash, the economic crash, pandemics, plagues, vaccines and shit like that. When the Lord brings that destruction, that judgment, the RFID chip and shit, allow Esau to have his last hoorah. Um, the Lord's going to ultimately begin the judgment of the great whore and that's going to kick off the judgment of Esau all right he's going to destroy them that destroy the earth man through their damn science and their greed this is Job 9 and 24 the earth is given into the hand of the wicked so the Lord gave it into their hands and everything they do with it is, is wicked and grievous all right so all their ways everything they conjure up and imagine their devices it's all wickedness in this system. All right. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? All right. So Psalms 10 and 4, the wicked Esau, these Edomites, these elite bankers that are acting like doctors right now, you know, pushing vaccines and shit like that. The wicked, the ones that run the earth, it says, all right, the Lord left it in their hands. It says, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after Yahweh. Yahweh is not in all his thoughts. His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. All right, he said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. This is Habakkuk 2 um, and 5. It says this, Yea, also, or 4, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith, man. So Esau is living by wickedness, all right? They're ruling the world through wickedness, all right? And um, and children of Israel are living, the elect are living through what? Faith. Verse 5, yea, also because he transgresseth with wine, by wine, meaning his philosophies, his lies, the Demonocracy, their Christianity, their riches, their, their money schemes. It says what? Because of that, he is a proud man. All right, that goes in. That goes with the uh, scripture and revelation I just read. All right. Oh, and uh, Job, and also Job, right? Chapter nine. What said the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Now it says uh. What well, it said, his ways are always grievous, right? And his inward thought is that he should not be moved. 
It says, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desires as hell, and is as death, man, and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. So that's happening. It's already happening, and it's happening now. All right, they want to pull everybody into their new world order system, into their, their, uh, their system, man, and get everybody vaccine and shit like that. Trying to consume everybody. All right, this is Psalms 103 and 19. The Lord, Yahweh, hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. All right, so everything that's coming upon the earth, the earth is not going to end, but Esau's rulership is going to end. And that's all that's going to happen. And the pride of the people on this earth is going to be put down. All right. Second Ezra uh, 6 and 7. Then answered I and said, what shall be the parting asunder of times, man? And we at the parting asunder of times right now. All right. We're going into a new age to where Israel is going to rule and it's, uh, the wicked are going to be put down. It says, or when shall be the end of the first? And the beginning of it that followeth. All right, so they're afraid of mass genocide or um, extinction level event happening with the vaccines or poisoning or whatever five G or World War Three, but it's going to happen to whom the Most High wants it to happen to. This is uh, Jeremiah fifteen and two, and it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then shalt thou tell them, Thus saith Yahweh. Such as are for death to death, and such as are for the sword to the sword, and such as are for the famine to the famine, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity. All right. And I will appoint over them four kinds, saith Yahweh, the sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, and the fowls of the heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. And that's what he put over the children of Israel. And now over this whole earth, he has different spirits that's, um, that he's bringing. All right. And the times we are now, the judgment, this judgment, he said, this judgment shall come upon the whole world. All right. So he has a different judgment. Now, check this out. Sirach 39 and 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, so we're in the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease. The wrath of him that made them. All right. Not Esau, but everything that's happening on this earth is because of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai controlling it and he's bringing his wrath and he's allowing Esau to play his part on the earth. All right. As being the wicked. 29. Fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. All right. The teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword meaning destruction, punishing the, the wicked to destruction. All right. They shall rejoice at his commandment. So at Yahweh's commandment. That's why nothing is happening upon this earth, according to Revelation 7, until the elect are sealed. All right. Esau can't do shit until the elect is sealed up. They shall rejoice at his commandment and they shall be ready upon the earth. So everything is here. And in place, nothing new under the sun. When when need is, and when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. So we're in the time. We in that parting asunder of times, right? All right. So the earth is not going to end. You know, I don't care what Esau does. But the Lord said, "Yo, if he doesn't stop this, if the Lord doesn't intervene, uh, no flesh will be saved from from what they're planning." All right, the Most High created Esau to be the wicked, the sword. All right. <clears throat> Second Ezra 6 and 7. Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of time, meaning ages or kingdoms? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? All right, I'm going to skip down verse, nine, verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. All right, so what's going to end is Esau's world, Esau's rulership, the world being given into their hand. Look what they're doing with it. They're, they're enlarging their desires as hell upon this earth and as death. And if the Lord didn't shorten the times, no flesh would be saved from that death or that hell. 
All right, Revelation 6 and 8. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death and Hell, followed with him. All right, this is Esau, basically America. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword, meaning destruction, and with hunger, and with death, and with beast, with the beast of the earth. All right. You know, so and that's what's happening right now, man. And they've been given that power, but they're losing their power over the earth at the same time. All right. Psalm 78 and 69. He built his sanctuary like the high palaces, like the earth which he have established forever. So the Lord built his sanctuary, meaning the children of Israel. That's his sanctuary. All right. Jerusalem, Israel. He built his sanctuary like the earth is established forever. All right. This is Ecclesiastes 1 and 4. One generation passeth away. All right. Meaning ages upon this earth, kingdoms upon this earth. All right. And people living upon this earth dying and their spirit go back to the father and it, it come back. It gets sent back to the earth as a baby. All right. Inside of a baby. And another generation cometh. See. But the earth abideth forever. All right? And that's the proof um, that the children of Israel will abide forever. And also, the children of Israel are the proof that the earth will abide forever. So it's not going to be an end. Um, they, they do a mass extinction level event. They're not going to wipe everybody off the earth. All right. They're going to wipe a lot of people. It's going to be a lot of people dead, but it's going to be. By the will of the Most High. All right. Um, this is Psalm 68 and 20. He that is our power is the power of salvation. So he's the power. He's the one that's controlling everything. And unto Yahweh, the Lord, belong, belong the issues of death. See that? <clears throat> so that's who belongs the issues of death. So he controls all of that. It says, I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. He's talking about people and nations. Isaiah 65 and 16. That he who blesseth himself in the earth shall bless himself in the God of truth, Yahweh. And he that sweareth in the earth shall swear by the God of truth, Yahweh. Because the former troubles are forgotten. And because they are hid from mine eyes. All right. Um, wow, this is the wrong scripture, but it's right on point. For behold, I create a new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered, nor come into mind. <laughs> Ain't that something? All right, so what does that mean? That means Esau's rulership is going to end, but this earth that we're presently standing on is going to be forever. All right, but, but it's going to be a new um way of living and that way of living is going to be righteousness instead of wickedness of whom hands it was in the wicked all right so they're going to lose their power seat now it says uh isaiah 66 and 16 for by fire and by his sword so that's the judgments they said it all comes together all right uh let's start from 15 for behold Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. And that's what's about to happen. Not the earth being destroyed, not them having their way, not doctors coming together to stop it from happening. No, it's Yahweh bringing judgment upon this earth. And he has an elect that's going to be saved from it. And the earth is going to buy forever, but it's going to be... Um, uh, uh, what you call um, destroyed in some parts as far as World War Three, all right? And the earth gonna shake to and fro. There's gonna be chaos upon the earth. For by fire and by his sword will Yahweh plead with all flesh. So that's the judgment coming. All right, and the slain of Yahweh shall be many. Um, all right, this is Second Ezra eight and uh, one. And Yahweh, he answered me saying, the most, high ha, that the most High have made this world for many, 
but the world to come for few. All right. So this earth is going to abide, but the world to come is going to be for few, meaning the elect. All right. But the earth is always going to be here. The uh, oikumeni, the earth, or Aratiza. Verse 2. And I will tell thee a similitude, Ezra, as when thou askest the earth, it shall say unto thee that it giveth much mold whereof earthen vessels are made, but little dust that gold cometh of. Even so is the course of this present world. All right. So he said, uh, kingdoms pat come and go, but the earth abideth forever, right? Verse three, there be many created, but few shall be saved. And that's what's happening. All right. So the earth is going to abide and not everybody is going to be caught up in the extinction level event. This is Jeremiah 31 and 35. Thus saith Yahweh, which giveth the sun for the light by day and the ordinances of the moon and of the stars for a light by night. All right. So that goes with Genesis, uh, I think, chapter four or chapter uh, one, verse four, where it says on the fourth day. All right, so he gave it order on those days, the light to shine and day and night, even though he created it on the first day. All right. Now it says, uh, by night, which divided the sea when the waves there are roar. Yahweh of hosts is his name. So that, that when it controls the tide, all right, at night. Verse 20, 36. If those ordinances depart from before me, which they're not, say if Yahweh, then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. All right, so Esau is ultimately going to lose this battle. They want to do genocide, extinction level event. Well, they're going to fail at it. All right. Um, verse 37. Thus saith Yahweh, if if heaven above can be measured and the foundations of the earth searched out beneath, I will also cast off the seed of Israel for all that they have done, says Yahweh. This is Romans 9 and 27. Isaiah also cried concerning Israel, though the number of the children of Israel, see, not only the world, as the sand of the sea, um, earthen vessels coming from, but only the gold shall be delivered, right? As I read earlier in Ezra. But now is is narrowing it down to the children of Israel, because that's what this is about. All right, we have the sand of the sea scattered around the four corners of the earth. But he said, What? Only a remnant shall be saved. All right. 28 For he will finish the work. Who is Yahweh? Through his son Yahweh Shah is going to finish the work. That's what this is about. It's not about Esau doing genocide and extinction level event. And we got to stop them, bring all the doctors together to stop them. And it's because of you. No, it's because of Yahweh. It's because of Yahweh Shai. All right. That's going to stop Esau. For he will finish the work and cut it short in righteousness. Because a short work will Yahweh make upon the earth. All right. He's not going to destroy the earth. He's going to do his work upon the earth. So that I'm going to say, I shall want.